Well, this year, for the first time, doctors and patients will have a new option when it comes to choosing a flu vaccine. Certain brands will protect against four strains of the virus instead of the usual three. But doctors are warning patients not to wait for the new version to come out, saying kids should still get their shots as soon as they can, even if it is the older style. Joining us now, Dr. Ernest Patty, senior attending physician of emergency medicine at St. Barnabas Hospital in New York City. And you said your hospital starting this today, get, yes, doing, we did. giving the flu vaccines today. Started today giving the flu vaccines. How yes. early is too early? It's never really too early. You know, don't forget the flu season uh, starts in January through February and can last right through to May. But you want to build your body's immunity up. When you get the shot, you're not protected immediately. It takes about a good two weeks for your body to start building up antibodies. So we're hearing about these new shots. The the ones that defend against four strands, not three. Right. H how much better are these new shots? Well, th they haven't actually come back with a final determination on that yet, but common sense tells you if you're stimulating your immune system with uh, more strains of the flu, then obviously that should offer you a better protection. You know, every year the flu uh, that virus that's more virulent changes because it mutates so easily. Now, we mentioned in the introduction, though, that you shouldn't wait. So is there a problem with certain hospitals or certain doctor's office having access to this new vaccine, or is it readily available for everybody? Well, there, n there's not going to be enough vir uh, vaccine with the four-strain type. They call it a quadrivalent vaccine. They're not going to produce enough of that for everybody to get. But the tried-and-true one that has three strains that we've been getting for the past 30 years or more, that's, uh, that's just, you know, it, it's, it's a great option, and it's one that, you know, if you can get that sooner rather than later, it. What happens if you can get that one now, but later on in the doctor's office, the one for four is well, available? Can you double up? <laughs> uh, you know, that's an interesting question. You can have that discussion with your doctor. There's no real recommendation for that, but it's funny you mention that because they actually have a new vaccine for seniors, 65 and older. Fortunately, I haven't gotten to that group yet, but what it does is it has a higher dose of flu vaccine to help you boost your immune system for people who are older whose immune systems may be waning. I only have 30 seconds here, but this is a very important part of the conversation. Sure. There's a lot of sh the vaccines available that are not in shots. They yep. can be a nasal mist, but also a little prick. Yep. Both of those options sound better to me. I'm I not one that loves to go get I shots. Actually are they those. as good though? Yeah, they are as good. And this is the one with the small needle. You can see how small that needle is right prick. there. Goes into your skin, not into your muscle. This is the standard flu shot that we give people. Not so my it has favorite. a larger needle. Right. <laughs> which goes into the muscle. <laughs> so I just wanted to show everybody that's the, and you also and have different the age groups, by the way, right? Because the skin prick one, they were not recommending necessarily for the over 65 crowd. Exactly. I believe okay. it's 18 to 49 for the skin, the, the intradermal one. And the nasal mist, you also have an option. No needle at all. And that goes in the nose. So some things to potentially ask, ab ask about. Everyone's going back to school. Good, good to talk about this early. Get everyone ready. To, are are your kids, do they already have the flu shot? They're going to be getting it this week. Common okay. sense. Wash your hands, cover your cough and sneeze, and, uh, and get flu vaccine early. Rather Dr. Than Patty, later. thank you very much. John, I was Thanks trying so to negotiate with Dr. Patty if he could come back and give us a live live flu shots, but not the shot kind, the other kind, so we could I'm really experience it I'm and see all, how it is. I'm all for that easy, <laughs> the easy one, right? Flu vaccine. Sure. <laughs> Sounds good, Jenna.